Panic and chaos inside the world's busiest airport. And tonight, Atlanta News Force Investigates has exclusively obtained these never before seen images after a gun was fired at a security checkpoint. This happened back in 2021, but these recordings were kept from the public while the gunman was prosecuted. And now our chief investigator, Brandon Keefe, has the videos, and he joins us live inside Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, exposing Brendan a potential security flaw. Now that's right. Atlanta's airport is number one in the nation for guns detected inside carry-on luggage. Screeners here at TSA at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport found about a gun a day last year on average, and most of those guns are loaded, 80 to 90 percent. So why does the same vulnerability that resulted in gunfire right here a year and a half ago still exist here today? Move, move. Everybody's running and screaming. APD said some type of explosion at the main checkpoint. Somebody saying gunfire. Shots fired, shots fired. Where exactly? Inside the airport. We have a call of shots fired at the south terminal. I see a police officer. He has his gun out. I guess I'm supposed to get in. November 2021. Atlanta police run toward the sound of gunfire. Oh. Go, 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 go. As passengers and TSA officers run for their lives. What we got, man? What y'all see? We have an active shooter inside the airport, so we need everybody to stay clear. Keep the planes away from the concourses. The armed passenger ran toward the T concourse, but then turned around and exited into the South Terminal, where the gunman blended in with other passengers who were also running away. 3796, radio silence now. Police were still searching inside. Go, come on. Let's go. Outside. While the gunman was running outside. Outside, outside. 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 How did a passenger get to a gun during secondary screening on the secure side of the main checkpoint? A TSA officer is going through his bag. He grabbed the gun in the bag and took off, grabbed the weapon and ran. And right here, that's when the gun went off. And a gun doesn't just go off. Right. Somebody pulled a damn trigger. They think a gun went off and he just grabbed the stuff. Right. And the supervisor is trying to tell him not to. Oh, okay. Kenny Wells was a convicted felon who wasn't supposed to have a gun anywhere, let alone inside the busiest airport in the world. How did he get by over here to be able to get the gun out of the bag? Often, a bag ends up on the secondary inspection table right in front of the passenger because there's a suspected prohibited item inside. That could be as simple as a bottle of water, but it could also be something far more dangerous. Right now, there's no barrier preventing a passenger from reaching into their bag during the TSA inspection other than the honor system. Why no barrier? Why not have a barrier in that secondary screening between the passenger and the suspect bag? So we, we have barriers up now. So back in November 21, we, we didn't have barriers up. TSA is right. There was no barrier at all that Thanksgiving week. This is the same exact station more than a year later. Plexiglass at face height, but nothing at all right now between a passenger's hands and their flagged luggage. So there is a barrier there now. Uh, we don't uh, have it completely closed off. Those barriers are for COVID, not to prevent access to the bag. No, but it does give us the added benefit uh, of, of uh, sh sh providing separation. We checked airports across the nation. A few, like West Palm Beach, have full-length barriers between passengers and bags selected for secondary screening. In other airports, those full barriers still have gaps big enough to reach through. But most, from New York to Atlanta, still have no barrier at hand level. Some airports have full barriers. Some have, uh, have barriers with some gaps on the bottom of them. It's different kind of everywhere because the, the equipment and the stuff that's, that's placed in the checkpoint during COVID was kind of procured locally. Why does it matter? Because TSA detected more than 6,500 guns last year at airport checkpoints. Atlanta leads the nation with an average of more than one gun found every day. Yet ATL is one of the airports without full barriers at the secondary screening areas more than a year after that accidental discharge forced a panicked evacuation. Oh we have disrupted the world. Well, apparently they had just seen it and I guess were they like trying to find it? 
They don't do that. They usually leave it up there and make me come and get it. That's what I'm saying. So how did this happen? When the bag goes through the x-ray machine, it stops briefly on the conveyor belt. If TSA detects something suspicious, the bag moves sideways behind a plexiglass barrier. If TSA suspects there's a gun inside, the bag is kept in that secure area for local police to take custody of the weapon. But sometimes it's just a question mark. The suspect bag moves to a TSA officer on the secure side who takes it to a table with no security barrier. The the physical bag check takes place right in front of the passenger with nothing to stop them from reaching in and grabbing what's inside. It's been more than 20 years since a single failed shoe bombing and we're still taking off our shoes. A gun went off in the busiest airport in the world and effectively brought it to a standstill. And we still don't have a physical barrier between the passenger and a potential gun in a suspect bag. Uh, if we know that there's a firearm, we're not gonna let the person that, ha that owns that bag get access to it. Unfortunately, it happened in this situation because we weren't, at the time, aware that it was a firearm. We were supposed to do the secondary screening. And full barriers are not out of the question. It turns out, right during our interview, a TSA official interrupted the spokesperson and me and said, hey, wait a second, we actually did a pilot program with full barriers in the very same security checkpoint where that shooting had occurred. But they stopped the pilot program, took down the full barriers during this reconstruction project, which is currently underway. And the, the passengers, we saw in the video, they were running for their life. Were any of them hurt on that day? And what happened to the suspect? Yeah, Shauna, a good question, because a lot of people were obviously panicking. You saw everybody running. That, that little panda, stuffed panda bear you saw in the video, that was obviously dropped by a girl. Three passengers were transported or were treated for injuries. It was from the stampede, not the gunfire. As for the gunman, Kenny Wells, he pleaded guilty to a single count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He was supposed to be sentenced today, coincidentally, but that's been postponed to next month when he's expected to get 10 years in federal prison as part of a plea deal with federal prosecutors. Brendan, key for us tonight from the airport. Thank you, Brendan.